people that we are encountering at the moment. But before tackling the issue of challenges, let us look at the state of the movement in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, I think one thing that you should note at this moment, like I've argued before, I say we are still in the development stage. That is why we are calling ourselves Planning Wikimedia Bozon. Development stage meaning there are discussions going on. I hope those who, who belong to chapters at the moment would really understand the time that is needed to come with, with a solid chapter within a country. Therefore, we are considering time as the major aspect to consider in trying to come with something considerable for the VMF uh, within the application process. Ladies and gentlemen, talking of the challenges uh, within Africa or within our country, in terms of making outreach communities such that our society may be well informed about our community in the country. We have lots of challenges that we are currently encountering. One of them is poor internet, of which I'm sure it's affecting each and every one here. Ladies and gentlemen, our internet connectivity is so limited, such that we can't even undertake different uh, outreach activities for our community. Secondly, secondly, we have limited venues to undertake our outreach activities. Limited venue necessarily meaning at the moment we have been interrupting or we have been in, in conversations with our campus managers to try help us use their facilities. But then it doesn't bear any fruit because they haven't yet understood our state of the movement within our country. Why am I saying this? Ladies and gentlemen, we need more endorsements. Be it from any other chapter within Southern Africa or Wiki Africa Center or the PMF. What am I talking about here? Many a times we approach organizations trying to lobby for, uh, for, for venues to undertake our activities or to try and engage them into our activities. But still, they don't understand our state at the moment within the country because we have no endorsement, be it from WMF or from any other chapter within Southern Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we need your help. Moving forward, uh, we'll talk of the lack of concrete partnership within our community. Better still, within Southern African school. I must admit that we have, we have been in a diverse kind of partnership with other communities within Southern Africa. Therefore, we have never had any concrete partnership with either one of the communities within Southern Africa in trying to help us attain our mission and vision in our society. And that is why we are here, to ask for your help. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk of the challenges that our users encounter at the moment. Like I've said, our users are readers, not editors. Therefore, we need to activate and monitor the actions or tasks that are being done by our readers within our wiki page and recruit them to start editing Wikipedia. Some of them at the moment, they're still not yet aware of the Wikipedia Zero project that has been deployed in partnership with Orange Botswana. And we think it would be very much necessary if Wikimedia Foundation could extend its partnership with one of the leading, leading uh, mobile internet provider 
called MASCOM. That would be a great possibility because most of our uh, most of our community has subscribed a lot to this uh, ISP. Therefore, we think making concrete partnerships between the WMM and this ISP would be a great move in extending our presence in the community. The success stories of playing Wikimedia Botswana. Like I've said, ladies and gentlemen, we've been going through a rough patch. Therefore, we were unable to advance our mission to its limit. Therefore, that is why we have few successes within our community. First of all, we started off with the Sutsona Wikipedia Challenge, which started off in partnership with Google Kenya and WMM, which I believe really had a great impact in increasing the number of articles within our community. Since the start of the challenge, the number of articles increased so drastically. Secondly, we have the deployment of Wikipedia Zero. That happened. We have the Wikipedia Zero project that has been introduced in partnership with Orange Botswana. That's one of the successes. And it is amazing that the statistics currently are showing that the number of people using or making, who are utilizing this project in the country, it's so enormous. Therefore, we think extending this partnership to other ISP providers within the country or mobile couriers will really boost our mission and the community. The last one, we have seen uh, planning Wikimedia Botswana making its presence at Wikime Wikimania events as a way of trying to introduce different collaborations and learning how other chapters are doing in their respective countries. And I must say, the collaborations that we have so far, or that we are intending to introduce with other chapters, we hope they, they will be beneficial to our community. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk of the future plans of the movement. What is the future of the current state of the movement? We intend to, to form a solid chapter that would really help our community attain its mission and vision. Secondly, we hope to expand our outreach activity, our activities to other regions in the country. Since Planning Wikimedia Botswana is only known within the city, we hope and wish to extend this to other cities in the region of the country. We also intend to take a pilot project <coughs> of installing the QX our offline version of Wikipedia in rural schools. Therefore, the plan is still under discussion. Uh, we also wish to advocate for partnership with glamorous that are found within our community. We are talking of museums, libraries, we are talking of the people who are responsible for the monuments that are found within the city. We want to start a concrete partnership to involve these people for them to help us because they have the relevant information that we need to give to the society. Ladies and gentlemen, we also intend to host Wiki Loves Monuments or Wiki Loves Earth. Therefore, these are just future plans that are still under discussion. Therefore, we really hope uh, to hear of your ideas on how to carry out such activities within a chapter set up. Uh, lastly, least but not lastly, uh, we'll talk of the different organizations that are found within uh, the Southern African set up. 
We have Weekly Africa Center and the Lateral 27, which are one of the leading organizations that are in, that are that are that are contributing to the free knowledge initiatives within Africa. Therefore, we think uh, inviting these organizations within the board would be a great move as well. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question now? Okay. I think that's all for now. But ladies and gentlemen, we need help changing the world. Thank you. The, the, the problem is his time, so um, I, we don't want to be to, to, to away about the, the time schedule. So if uh, some other groups are going to come, please keep to the 15 minutes that I gave you earlier on. And uh, if maybe they are taking our problems earlier on, I'm going to call other groups to continue and guide this off. And then you're going to be the last. Anyway, uh, anyone who wants to add, recommend, or add something else, okay, noted, noted. Noted. Okay. Hi, thank you for this presentation. Um, I want to ask a couple of simple questions. You say you need help changing the world. You cite the difficulty in retaining people as editors. Um, and you focus on things like attaining chapter status and new projects and partnerships. But the fact is, there is not a single active editor in Botswana, in any language, not one. So before you go and create a chapter, before you go and create a partnership, shouldn't the goal first be to create that handful of active editors, um, what would you say is preventing that? What would you say is preventing you or people around you from getting into the habit of editing encyclopedia? You don't need to be a chapter for that. You don't need an institutional partnership for that. What has been the obstacle preventing this prerequisite for all the other things? Okay, thank you, Asam, for your question. I think uh, because of the time, I couldn't touch on the other challenges that we are currently encountering within our community. But just to refer back to your question, one of the major challenges that we are encountering at the moment is that um, most of the people that form part of our community are students. Therefore, they tend to focus much on their schoolwork than editing on Wikipedia. I think there, there, there seems to be a contradiction between schoolwork or school schedule to editing Wikipedia. Therefore, that's why we, we have less number of people editing within the community. But in terms of our discussions and meetups, I think we always meet almost a month. In every month we meet. But the problem is coming when it comes to editing because that's when now things come a bit contradictory. I don't know if your question has been answered. Just have uh, uh, one question and one comment. 
I generally don't, don't subscribe to uh, the excuse that schoolwork would interfere with one being able to edit Wikipedia. Uh, having started editing Wikipedia while I was in university myself, I found the two to be working hand in hand, so I do not agree with that. But anyway, that's besides the point. My question to, um, to Kenny yes. um, is uh, what would you say is um, the percentage of people that come to events uh, that you guys are seeing that you are organizing in terms of uh, female versus male uh, students coming to the events? Another group for that um, meetup. So it's like different people every time for every team. So that's the problem we have. Thanks. Um, my name is Ian. For those who haven't met me before, I'm from South Africa, from Kenta. I think my question's already been asked, which is uh, about the level of contribution to what's happening from an outside perspective. <coughs> If I look at the sign of Wikipedia, um, there have only been 15 articles created in the last year, and if I look at the last month, there's only been seven. So, you know, looking at it from the outside, I think the biggest thing that's needed is for you as the core um, people active is to really get editing more. That would be my suggestion, because I think that would make um, attracting outside interests, attracting other people to, to contribute and assisting you towards getting chapter status. I think having active editors is, is really the most important thing. Because yeah. uh, the first time I knew about Wikipedia was in 2012, I think, when there was a Sistrona Wikipedia challenge in my school. And then when the challenge got done, I stopped editing because I thought it was done. I didn't know I can continue editing. So just from what well, I really learned that there's this, uh, I can continue editing and then there's speaking data and I can continue doing that. So I didn't have a lot of knowledge about um, Wikipedia, so I think we have to have a lot of knowledge about this. So coming here, I think it will open up my eyes to more. We need to be more and spread out. Okay, we have the last question in the back. I hope Uh, mine is more of a comment. Uh, I'd say you see the same trend we had in Kenya, in Botswana as well. Because, like, even from my experience, we started off with a Wikipedia challenge and get used to edit. So, I think my advice to you would be uh, you need to find some synergies with the uh, articles to edit. Maybe something that you guys do. Because uh, I usually think it's easier for, I don't know, maybe. Uh, Students who are working on something that isn't from Wikipedia, maybe like the history of the country, for example, that. So it's, I think it's important to find like a synergy that you're doing edit in school or this work. Uh, that way you won't lack time to do, to do articles since it's the same thing you do from day to day. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your attention.